challenge mode is basically one person in a overpowered ship and you are facing against five other people if you're in the overpowered ship you have to kill the team of five 12 times and then if you're on the team of five you just have to kill the big boss and then the scenario mode is the newest mode and that is basically you're put into a, a historical battle and then you try to do the objective so far there's only one currently in the scenario mode and it's pretty new different sides have different objectives once you get into it you will understand it because there will be people telling you what to do mostly for event modes you need a tier 5 ship you can have up to five commanders per ship the first ability of every commander is the commander power and you can only use it in the commander slot which is the slot the captain slot if you press space when you have the requirements in battle you can use it and it lasts for a temporary period of time and then each commander gives different passives if you hover above this symbol here you can see the different bonuses that that your commander gifts that's related to the low number right below the commanders mark mr has 134 the green is the percentage you get the higher the number here the better the bigger bonuses you get so right now i have artillery accuracy 16.8 percent if i were to switch it with a person with a lower number it would decrease to 14.75 percent it's not that big of a difference you mostly want to get commanders that are reflective of what ship you're playing so these are all aircraft carrier commanders because the Taiho is an aircraft carrier. Certain people can have certain abilities when placed in certain spots. There's a captain spot, gunner spot, steersman, communications, and engineer. So if I were to hover above Nakayama Awashi, if I were to place him in the communication specialist slot, I would get the 500 increased scouting range. So that's only if I put him in that, that slot. So if I were to put him here, I would get that bonus. But if I were to not, I wouldn't make sure you read that make sure you put them in the right spot so certain commanders are specialized for certain ships and then you can just check that off level descending so my highest level commanders will be on top even though it may be for destroyers you might not want all five of your slots to be destroyer type commanders so just look around different abilities some are better suited for others in certain situations if you level a commander to tier 5 so if i were to go preview it will show you the preview of the tier 5 and usually once you get tier 5, one of these abilities will change completely. Excellent. The third bonus this commander gives at excellent, it was main artillery accuracy boost level 2, and which increases the main accuracy by 2%. If I were to improve it to legendary, it becomes crossfire and increases the range and accuracy of all artillery weapons by 5%. So that usually happens when you get a legendary commander. And the way to upgrade those commanders is, well first, in order to buy them, you need merit. And you get merit merit free events. Currently a 5v5 battle you get 180 merits if I went to games in the 5v5 and 200,000 silver which I have not done yet. If you go to the shop and then you go commander you can buy I don't have enough merits so I can't buy anything. For the gold you notice how if you get this officer group list it will say it grants 10 commanders after purchasing with a higher chance of getting rare commanders. That is important because even though this costs gold you have a better chance of getting rare commanders but for officer list this also costs gold but you only get one commander so this has the same odds as getting the regular merit here so don't be fooled by that like i was 5v5 rankings just ended i got gold i used it on this for the first time and i got crap i was definitely con there you can also degrade to get but i don't have enough silver to do that but you get a portion of what you spent i wouldn't recommend it because qualifications it's hard to come by and i would just not do it you lose a good portion of the qualifications you earn and Either way, it's going to be beneficial for the most part. So this is my current rank. The ranking season also just restarted, so I'm pretty low. My last season rank was this, Captain Rank. If you go to your rank details, once you reach a certain point, every day you're going to lose some renown. You can go through the ranks. If you wanted to stop counting renown, I would only really recommend doing this if you reach probably one of these four, just so you don't want to go down your rank. You can get rank rewards after every few months. For the first three, you get nothing. Once you go up the first three, you do get some rewards here up here you can get colonel flag and then paint for 30 days which is what i got if i were to get the fleet admiral you would get permanent all three flags and then permanent paints for ships and getting qualifications let's go to the painting flags again the flags you get these are the flags you get for doing well i got the colonel flag which is the lowest of the three and then this flag right here this is your fleet flag if you're in a fleet this is my fleet we have a flag and then that's where you can 
purchase your beat flag but it does cost a lot of money it costs twice as much as regular flags as you can see if they change their name you can add a note you can type in a certain characteristic about them you want to remember if they change their name you can type in their old name and then their old name will show here so you don't get confused about who they are right here liquid tension he changed his name his old name used to be different that's my note it will come in parentheses as well as this guy the ones that are highlighted are the ones online these x marks means they're in battle and then these are the people offline the max amount of friends you can have is 200 i actually met that goal which is annoying i want them to make it bigger because i was in defined intervention so i made a lot of friends there their fleet is basically 200 players and then as well as my fleet which has currently 69 players it's just a lot of people i know and then not only that there's a lot of people i know from different fleets as well gold is basically the the real money currency global experience is what you can use for any ship you so please you do get ship experience i have 6712 experience on this ship which i can only use on this ship i can only use this experience to upgrade these things global experience i can use for anything this is why it is important to click training once your ship has become fully upgraded that is very important let's go to the settings i turned down all the volume for the sake of this video i don't know which one is the wave your ship is moving it produces a wave behind your ship that's really helpful in game it might be hard to determine whether the ship is moving forward or backwards or not moving at all the weight helps a lot you can change sensitivity of your mouse and then if you're in hawkeye mode which is basically for battleships really cruises things that have really long wings you can switch to hawkeye mode and it will change the sensitivity for which you move i'm on the screen oh the challenge mode is a great way to make silver if you're wanting low on silver try to participate it happened twice monday and saturday and you can get 100k silver per game and that should be it